Hello, I'm Rob Marshall of Warren Business Consulting, a specialist learning and development company that helps professionals develop their careers in oil and gas. In an earlier video, I explained that most types of risk for upstream oil and gas projects fall into three broad categories, geological, contractual, political. Today, I want to talk about geological risks. The technology used to search for hydrocarbons is always advancing, but we have still not eliminated the chance of drilling a so-called dry hole. Using the latest methods is also very costly. So often, a manager has to decide if spending more money and time on seismic studies and then on drilling exploration wells is worth the risk of finding nothing. I define risk as the probability of failure, however, geologists turn this concept round. They measure the geological chance of success. However, this exercise is not like tossing a coin where there is only one action and two possible outcomes. In fact, the presence of oil and gas in a reservoir depends mainly on five separate factors. The quality of the source rock, the porosity and permeability of the reservoir rock, the presence of a trap, the closure and sealing of the trap with a seal rock, the migration and timing of the movement of oil and gas from the source rock to the reservoir rock. Geologists collect data to estimate the probability that each of these factors pass the test. Multiplying these five probabilities gives us the geological chance of success. The manager's job, however, does not stop there. There is no point in moving ahead if the volume of hydrocarbons in a reservoir is not sufficient to cover the cost of development and extraction and also generate sufficient profit. Petroleum engineers estimate these costs and then work out the so-called minimum threshold volume, MTV, at which the well starts to pay for itself. If these geological data are turned into a graph showing the probability of reaching different production volumes, the manager can then see the probability that the well will exceed this threshold. Multiplying the geological chance of success by this number, we obtain what is called the economic chance of success, in other words, the risk of profit or loss. Participating in training exercises based on real-life cases helps managers understand the data and the related risk analysis. These results can be used in other ways. To compare a number of different prospects, managers can estimate what is termed the expected monetary value, or EMV, of each prospect. They are also used to produce three standard estimates for the size of reserves in barrels of oil of cubic feet of gas. These are proved, probable, possible. This information is particularly important as it is required by financial investors and thus is subject to rigorous reporting standards. Thank you for watching. For further information about our learning and development programs, please go to our website www.warrenbusinessconsulting.com.